An honest to goodness love poem, subtitle, rated R. I place my hand on the soft skin of your back. See it stand out amongst the otherworldliness of your blackness. We lie naked, having spent each other. I gently kiss you down your spine, briefly, all the way down to your tailbone. Now, I let you sleep, and my, wand wa and my mind wanders to this page. If you were awake, you would be proud of me for setting something down. You're not using your time to read and write anymore, you told me earlier. While I seem stilted, you seem free. I haven't seen you so comfortable in your body around me. Nudity has become common, not a taboo. What happens when we change our clothes with the lights on? What has become of us? Every day it feels like the small of your back, your hips, your smell becomes something that are mine. Not things that I own, rather things that are part of me when I wake up, as they are part of me when I fall asleep next to you. In our bed, next to me, the only thing you wear is a gold chain. Ours is not a love that can accept or understand the meaning behind a single gold chain. Representations, even words, may not be enough. Okay. Sometimes it takes a dinosaur attack. It's another one of those moments, right? We stare at each other over cold cups of coffee, or you seek commiseration while smoking. The proverbial shit has hit the fan, the streets are burning, they are awash in blood. But we both know, in those moments, that there has not been enough change. False prophets evoke change over and over, while the same dirty money buys everything. Our politicians, our politics are purchased. What else can some poor kids do in a world where our future son could be gunned down for being just like his father, only with darker skin? What more can we do than drink cold coffee and smoke tasteless cigarettes? With those types of results, you can't help to project out into your future to unborn children. Our lives have been scrumped of any semblance of power. The other night, we tried to hail a cab, and no one picked us up for 15 minutes. That fax hurts more than the stares, the cat calls. This poem is supposed to be about change, so why should I spend so much time on a cabbie who doesn't have the decency to pick up an Afro-Latina and her boyfriend? Because of you, cabbie, I've grown tired. I want nothing from anyone. From the rest of the world, I don't want solidarity. I want solutions. There are none. We've resigned ourselves to the fact that our only role models are superheroes. You say that you have the letter B and a chevron on a t-shirt under your dress, and one day you'll have to rip it off and show the world. If that doesn't work, the next day you'll have to palm your bionic arm through your glorious afro. But costumes are illusions. Some would say that I want a medal for my progressive politics. I martyr myself to be a champion against miscegenation. But love and attraction are not dog whistles. And the fear we fight is nothing more than Jurassic Park dinosaurs brought back to life to attack our love. It's when we fight those dinosaurs that we remember what love is. Thanks.